Well, we've gotten most of the dungeon now, which means that, uh... Alright, I'm gonna be real with you. This is not a very interesting episode. If you like the... If you like the uh, classroom trivia, I, I suppose, you know about like the gold and silver ratio, right? Oh yeah, of course. I actually do know about that. Oh, I was a math God, major. Yes. No, I mean, I, I wasn't being like facetious or anything. I really thought that you would. I mean, do, do you have anything to say about that? Because otherwise, I do have other. We're talking about the literal golden ratio for math. Oh yeah, literally. Okay. Well, I, I think it's one of those things. It's like. Uh, it... It's overrated in the sense of like, oh, it, it it's always appearing in nature. No, it's more like it, it's all over math. It's like you start doing anything with a sequence. That's where Fibonacci comes from. It's a two-line piece of code, and it generates a Fibonacci sequence. You know, like you can literally do it in two lines, and it generates a sequence, and the sequence, the ratio of consecutive terms, asymptotically converges to the golden ratio. And you, yeah, it's a lot like pi in that way, yeah. where you can just find it in just about every sort of math that you, you can think yeah. of eventually. Or E, you know, it just shows up when you talk about compound interest very naturally. It may have taken us until like the 1700s to figure it out. And it may, you know, pi, we don't know, you know, a lot of things about pi. But hey, I mean, it's, it's an important constant. It shows up all over math. You start doing things quantitatively, it's going to show up. Um, I mean, I don't know. And that includes in persona. Which, you know, up to this point, I, I mean, I guess, like, you do get a pretty wide range of trivia in each one of these classroom sections, <laughs> but it, it goes to show you that uh, Persona 5 is the true math major's video game, created for and by those who study math. I think, well, look, math majors are known for spending long stretches of time just translating, uh, you know, from a foreign language, you know, a lot of redundant language, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Look, you see where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if you think about it, translating and translations are basically the deck. Ah, 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 fucking kill me right you now. You probably would have been a pretty good math major, given how you ace that uh, Baba is you playthrough. But well, that was more like logical stuff. A anyway, <laughs> here we go. It's right here. <laughs> It's possible to apply math even to an abstract. Well, yeah, no shit. That's what math is for. All right. <laughs> well, the, yeah, I mean, it's like what are, you, you can apply it to real world concepts, but it is ultimately a very abstract type of thing. Oh, it's true. You know, I was just reading this um, this tweet just like recently where it's like, oh, yeah, they were they were talking about, well, what does it mean? Like the aliens must have built the pyramids because the uh, the side lengths were all like a multiple of pi or something. And somebody was just like uh, apparently it's like a history channel show and somebody was just like uh like this paleontologist is just like well maybe they just use the wheels to measure the sides and then the whole alien theory just collapsed well yeah i mean because you're just gonna eventually get to that conclusion anyway it's like regardless of if you know it's what pi one. is or not <laughs> yeah i know it's the second one did you see the very artful cut that i had in between oh. there where i was just like <laughs> uh uh uh, it looks smaller. I forgot you're not actually <laughs> playing this right now. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, I would be doing like, well, okay, if I was actually doing live translation, that would be very impressive, but unfortunately I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah, what that's... Is this text? <laughs> way to just shoot me down, man. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm glad that we were able to get through, like, the IM sections. I swear to God, one of the things that I've been thinking about when doing a lot of the, the transcribing and the translating to a certain extent... <laughs> I mean, I, thankfully, I'm not doing the translating, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I really do think, I, I, my, my theory right now is that the IM sections were added entirely separately from everything else in the game. Oh. Because it's, you know, it's a single image, all you gotta do is just overlay text on it. Yeah. It's something that you can program pretty quickly, and I don't know if there has been any one of those IM sections that has actually had, like, a meaningful impact on the story. Non-redundant information. Usually it's just reiterating stuff that we already know. Or some occasional, uh, like, little character scenes. Like like that bit where where uh, Ryuji spent all his bus money getting a toy dolphin back in, like, elementary school. No. Which was which was a pretty good bit, but most of them tend to just be reiterating stuff we've already yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. Um, I think they had a lot of redundancy in the writing department. Also, I'm almost certain, now that they're saying it, that Morgana, if you actually were to measure it, has, like, a proportion of the silver ratio in you know his face i, I think they're the weird uh, thing uh, though is that he has he has a lot more of a squish face than he did in the original game mm -hmm. his face was way more round it was like a big old egg in in uh vanilla persona 5 but they kind of streamlined his design I, I at first i didn't really like it now i think i prefer it mm -hmm. I, i'm not really familiar with the old morgana i could look that up but... unfortunately i'm only too familiar with it <laughs> 
I'm only too familiar with what every single character looks like in this game. Yeah, but I think and how they sound like in, this, in two languages. This whole thing with like the golden and silver ratio, it's, I, I think they're just overthinking it. You know, just uh, like it's pretty simple. Like you look at like Hunter Hunter. What they do to make the the faces cute is just to make them like round and sort of look like kittens or dogs. Round and big eyes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or babies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that I think that that's that is pretty much like the the gold standard for the golden ratio, right? Um, yeah, puppies and babies, children, <laughs> the young children are. We are naturally attracted to to like you know adults. caring and finding God, those sort of things cute. I mean, what, what, it's part of the survival of the species. It's actually um, kids are at a perfect like you know when kids have growth spurts it's like it's actually all at once they grow like 61 percent or you know the golden ratio by the factor like so if they're three feet then the next day they'll be five feet and they, that's their last that's growth incredible spurt before puberty so if they're three foot six they're gonna be like you know five foot nine or something true facts so that that's why kids are so you know it's like they're poised at a golden ratio from previous version of themselves I don't know if that's actually true or not. Yeah, kids grow from three feet to five feet overnight. It actually happens all at once. It's not like, you know, it's not like it takes eight hours. It takes... I'm going to be honest. The last time I, like, talked to a child has probably been, like, five to seven years ago. Yeah, well, they're probably two to three golden ratio <laughs> factors larger. The golden ratio to the third power larger than they were when you met them last. Well, in about two to three golden ratios, maybe I should catch back up and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll probably be taller than you, or ten feet tall. I mean, it's exponential growth. There's no, there's no real limit there. Incredible. So anyway, uh, if you're wondering, no, I wasn't actually paying attention. Much like the, much like we're doing right now. <laughs> Just yeah, you know, since I know you were gonna ask. I mean, anything goes with coffee, Hal. Just don't talk to me before I have my coffee. What? Sakura is surrounded by coffee all the time. Do you think that he's the sort of person that has a cup in the morning? We haven't really seen that just yet. Yeah. He's a very practical type of guy. I think that he would be one of those dudes that's like, I, I know, I gotta go all natural. I cannot possibly uh, let my body be tainted by any sort of chemical in any way. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I get that sort of vibe, but maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing can... Unfortunately, despite uh, how you, how these uh, sections usually go, don't really get too much more plot advancement in who is actually harassing Sojiro here. I want to hear more about Sojiro and what he's been up to. <laughs> Coffee would just do uh, Well, maybe next time. Shouldn't be too... It shouldn't be too much longer until we start to like get into the real meat of the, the plot going on here, because... Like I said, I, I I am very much interested in the confidant links, even if I am frustrated with the story. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything that's not the story seems fine. It's just that story. Well, uh, we can reiterate this all day, mm -hmm. but you know, yep. we're always just going to come to the same conclusion. <laughs> and then if we talk about it too much, you're going to have to record over me. I didn't record over you. No, no, I know. I, mean, I just, I just trashed the entire recording, <laughs> and also it was mostly my fault. I was the one really getting way too frustrated. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not. No, it's absolutely it's all your fault. I well, this entire series is my fault technically. <laughs> so yes. yes. <laughs> to be fair, if you're gonna blame anyone, blame oh, me. Oh, I do. That. Also, a little bit myself. Yeah, uh, th these sections were added in the, the Royal, so they also won't have anything really uh, relevant to the Confidant Link. But, hey, it is another little extra way to get some some uh, friendship points with, with characters. Mm -hmm. So, I like that, but I don't know. I'd also like it if they were just shorter. Yeah. I already did. And then it comes in the next day, and not only is all the coffee eaten, but the entire shop has also exploded. Yeah, you probably should check that. I mean, if somebody says that, then you have to check it. Because, like, at that point, it's on you completely. 
I don't really know what the point of this section is. Like, I... Usually we get something at least somewhat related to, like, what's going on. This is just kind of people complaining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, realistic, but what? Are they trying to establish how the collective unconscious is, like, depressed or something? I don't know. I mean, the, certainly the collective unconscious does exist, you know... Literally. Like, the way the Morgana came out, if it was due to the fact that he was transformed to something that had the golden ratio, it's like the collective unconscious could just be that people are... It's making it so it's dragging on, and especially a long time, because people are bored? Wait a second. <laughs> I, well, wait, wait, you think Matarami's a bad person? Yeah, you can actually talk to the guy that he's talking about um, up on the surface level, which I thought I did, but now that I'm thinking about it, I might not have. This is just different dialogue, so I decide to include it. Mm. I don't know. And this, we jump all the way back, down to, back to 510 Tuesday. When I, where and I talk to this um, widow's peaked, bushy eyebrowed man who kind of looks like me. <laughs> oh, that's not you. Because what? Oh, okay. So the, the cashier here—that's not Joker. Mm. No, that is Joker. Oh, okay. He's just wearing the the yeah, Swedish yeah. flag for some yeah, I was reason. Gonna say, right. I don't know why that's the theme of this place, but go Sweden. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. This is because you had to actually talk to this guy to establish his confidant link, which I didn't do in the original playthrough. So okay. that's why I uh, I inserted this this little scene right here. Okay. So you know you can see the the first meeting that we had with this guy, you know, who's named Yoshida. And just go with that. Okay. He's that politician that we saw earlier, who I thought could have possibly been the final boss of the game. Was he the guy who shoved you no. aside? Konnichiwa. Ah, oh, if only. You know, I would, uh, that, that's Bald Sunglasses Man, who I did find out is named Shido, because you can find some, you can find some, uh, political posters around that, that mention him as being part of, well, it's just some sort of, like, generic, uh, for a brighter future, it's Shido. But yeah, so I guess, ultimately, we're probably going to see, like, a, um, a, a confrontation between the two at some point in time, but for right now, I'm thinking that, uh, Yoshida probably not going to be a villain, because he's got a, a social link basically i think this politician is um i'm just just paraphrasing morgana here i think this politician is charismatic and oh, a bit experienced right, at that. convincing others to yeah. do what he wants yes <laughs> like what do you <laughs> oh and he was a politician you know actually speaking of uh speaking of bald-headed uh sunglasses man uh, you know as part of the whole uh you know as part of the whole like prepping up for this this episode mm -hmm. I decided to do like a little bit of cosplay as him. Oh, cool. Got my own sunglasses, shaved my head. Check it out. Wow. I can't see you. Oh, look at your phone. Oh my God. <laughs> this is literally the first time I've ever taken a selfie. And I just wanted to spring it on you because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right here. I'm looking at my phone. Wow. Sunglasses, baldness, that, that you just went all out. You can't see it, can you? I can't see it. Ah, damn it. That was supposed to be a bit. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I thought the bit was that you weren't sending it. God, what, how, why would I have a setup and then not do any? Ah, whatever. It doesn't it matter. You know what? You ruined it. Oh, hell. I ruined it again. Well, anyway, back to... <laughs> Oh, there it is. Back to Persona, I guess, since as it turns out, the mobile network is not very good to do to do gags on stream. Literally the first time I ever tried to do it, it fails. I'm mad. <laughs> oh, now I'm seeing it. Oh, this is real. Oh, you, you actually did. Oh, my God. Holy crap. <laughs> if only that appeared a little bit earlier. <laughs> like, this is not this is not a character. This is not a bit I'm doing. That You actually did. Wow. Wow. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Looking good. You actually wear it pretty <laughs> It's also well. the least flattering picture that I may have a ever taken of myself. <laughs> well, it's just that you don't have the hair. I think you look pretty good, though. You're pulling it off pretty well. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. If you actually saw the rest of my head, I have, like, a bunch of moles up there, so... Eh. Okay. Well, you did a good job with the angle, then, at least. The photography was... So, yo, how's your quarantine going? Um, <laughs> See, that when I was talking about having an intro for one of the episodes earlier, that was going to be it. <laughs> But I was just like, you know what? There's nothing really happening in this episode. I, I, uh, Yoshida is... I mean, he's an interesting character, but all we get to really know right now is that he's just a... He's a failed politician, and he's been on the the, the speech grind for quite a while now, but hasn't really made any progress. If I can just 
figure that out. Yeah, that if I can just hit get my jump shot right, I'll be I'll be elected for sure. But God, so far. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't want to go into sports. You know where that where that path leads. Well, yeah, but if you get, no, he just needs to hit like thirty percent of jump of his jump shot so that the defense can you know has to respect him and then the players can this drive into the lane. I mean, I'm not saying he has to be like the best. He just just has to be good enough. Yeah, I mean, what do they what do they always say about like percentages in baseball? Where it's like, ah, hey, if you hit this, you'd be the the greatest person of of all. If you make like two more, if you get two hits a week, then you're Barry Bonds. If you get three hits a week, then you're even better than Barry Bonds. Wow, what an amazing we we're learning all about math in this episode. Yeah, that's the difference between an all star and uh, someone who's not even in baseball or something, and somebody who is not getting their game on. Yeah, yeah. I do like that Yoshida always wears that sash, apparently, regardless of where he's going, and also has those white gloves. Like, he, he is a very old politician. This is a weird... Who, who's saying this right Yeah, now? I know. The, the... Look, I can, I can give the old line about, like, re real conversations by real people, but we, we get it at this point. So, <laughs> who, who's saying this? Who's commenting on this? Uh, a guy standing right in front of Yoshida. Okay, you're not even from a party. Yeah, Look, I'm, I'm here to preserve, preserve the will of the people. I, that's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here to do good on Earth. It's like, no, you're not with a party. You can't, doesn't count. You want to be politician? <laughs> not if you're not a not if you're a, a liberal or not a liberal. Oh, no, I think he said if you're not a liberal. I think he's a he's saying it sounds like they're dominated by the liberal co prosperity party. It's a one party system. Is that my? I I you know if you're gonna ask me about like the. The diet in Japan, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, then. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like I know Shinzo Abe party. is is oh, well. the current prime minister, and that's it. Okay. That's about all I know. I know a little bit more about him, probably, but not that much more. Not not enough to give us. I am about a bad it. Japanese <laughs> student. <laughs> I'm more of a student of the world. No, no. This is just. I don't know anything about anything. It's true. I know. Quite I mean, a bit of things yes, this. in some ways, Yoshida, but like, what is, like, what does that mean? What is your actual platform? Like, what are, what is your actionable uh, uh, politics that that you're trying to espouse? He mostly just wants to have conversations with people. It sounds like, which you know, in some ways, isn't that what we all want? Isn't that the 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 true yeah. American politics? Like the the true isn't that the true center where all, we all live? We just want to have conversations. We just want to have be heard. We just want to tell our stories, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a different story. Everybody's got a different story. Unless you're, you know, the main character of this game. Yeah. Everybody's got a different story. Just got the I'm one. just the asshole who showed up and decided to give a speech about it. That's what I think. You do actually learn a little bit more about his history and politics. He is, he was formerly a politician, he, which is why it's its kind of weird that he doesn't just, you know, go with his, try, like, try to uh, get in through, say, some of the friends that he made along the way. Mm -hmm. Really, the true politics were all the friends that we made along the way. Yeah, that in conversations with those friends. Of course. Persona is really just a game about conversations, if you think about it. Yeah. And what it means to talk with people. Yeah. I agree with that. And much like in reality, not all those conversations have true meaning to them. Yeah, a lot of it is just Sometimes, filling time. It's just filling time. So anyway, here's another school section. Now we're going to go into... So this is, this is art class. No, this is English class. Wow. They're talking about Matarame. Like, like, the math guys was kind of talking about Matarame, too, weren't they? Like, kind of with that silver uh, right No, it was just talking about, like, aesthetics just, in, uh, in art. Okay, yeah, that, that's right. Which is tangentially related. I mean, Matarame is an artist. Mm -hmm, that's true. But, you know, I mean, he is also kind of an artist in the same way that, like, Kamoshida was an athlete. I guess it's fair to say, like, if the Olympics were in town, like, where, you know, like, we were in school and there was... The Olympics was right outside. We'd probably have some math problems about the Olympics. That would be understandable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I guess I'm not... I'm, not I'm sure like... that there would be, like, entire uh, curriculum based around that if it's that close there. <laughs> Just kind of how that goes. I haven't heard of So synesthesia. this, of course... Is it synesthesia? I haven't heard of it, but I have felt it. Really? Yeah. It looks like the number seven. 
Which sounds like a pickle. So anyway, there is a pretty big difference between the uh, Japanese and English version of this, where the English one, you know, being English class and everything, you can't really do t t Japanese class. So it's really more of like, hey, what does the, the, the word in English translate into in Japanese? Here, it's, you know, looking at it from the 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 Greek etymology type thing. Morgana, you cheeky bastard. It's all Greek to me. Yeah, those are Greek through. Yeah, I know. I wanted to ignore that. That's like one of the few times where the, the translators decide to throw... Uh, Throw a little bit of um, localization humor in there, and I hate it. It's like when they said you jelly back in like the sixth episode or something, and I, I literally refuse to put that in the subtitles. I'm like, no, I get my, I get my say in this, and although I'm not going to exercise that power very much, this is the one of the few times that I am going to do that, and I'm not going to put memes in this game. You know, I, I gotta say, as much as this is a little bit like silly, this like. These, uh, this dialogue here, uh, I did actually think, bubbles? I was thinking about the etymology of synesthesia, and I did want to know that stuff, so this is really yeah. helpful for me. Yeah, I told you she's the English teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's, y y yeah, sin like synergy, and synesthesia like aesthetics. <laughs> See, I didn't know that, I win. This is this is all pretty interesting. Like, this is, I'm, I'm going to be honest, this is, like, good, uh, Trivia. Uh, some of the trivia stuff I do like, but you know, it, it's also. I, I kind of expect to have like a little bit more of a, a break in between both of them. <laughs> oh well, it's not the worst thing. It, it, it doesn't really matter because I thought that next episode that it was going to be taking a little bit longer to to get uh, to the end of the dungeon, but I forgot that no, I, I did actually say to send out that calling card pretty quickly, so. This is actually going to just be like a one-off type of episode before we jump right back into finishing up the, the Madarame saga. Mm -hmm. And boy, does it have one explosive end. Does he, does he explode? Uh, no. Oh. And also it doesn't. Oh. I lied. Dang. So anyway, now we're just going to go talk that out. And basically, yeah, next time it's, it's going to be the end of the dungeon. Ooh, nice. <laughs> At length. I mean, yes. Finally. <laughs> so, um, why are you so angry about that? Oh, I, I, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you can, you just think that that he's angry because his eyes are so large. He's actually just a little bit tired. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this is basically the same conversation that we had before. And also the idea that Yusuke would decide to, like, mm, you know what? No. <laughs> and also... Yeah. Making you do this? I don't think so. We were going to go after Madarame. We were in his palace and everything. And the only person I think that didn't want to do it was Anne because she was like, well, maybe he's like an evil person, but he hasn't actually done anything bad just yet. And that was before we even ever talked to Yusuke. Mm -hmm. Or we just talked to him for a couple minutes and he tried to call the cops on us. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I said that before where it's just like, it is really just the Yusuke show at this point in time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's okay because uh, a lot of the way that this game works is that, you know, your party member, your, the party members that you get that are new, that are not uh, Anne and Ryuji, kind of do fall off a little bit after they do their dungeon. <laughs> that's just because, you know, Anne and Ryuji are the ones that get like the anime cutscenes, they're the ones that are around for the longest time. Uh, same thing with Morgana. So it's like, uh, from what I understand, at least if it's anything like the previous couple games, you don't really get to... We're not going to hear too much from Yusuke aside from the occasional, like, uh, you know, we're going on break and he gets his own little vignette or something like that. Oh, yeah, that Yusuke asking the real question. <laughs> It is a good question. And unfortunately, we still don't. Ah, it still frustrates me so much that we do not get like a timeline for what's the de what the deal with Mo with uh, Morgana is. Mm, yeah. Nobody outright asks him, so we just gotta kind of like piece it together. I don't know if that's because they're planning to do like a twist later on. That'd be interesting. If, if they if they are doing that, then I I have a lot of respect for them. I mean, that that must be hard to do that for such a for so many hours of dialogue. It's just like you're holding this twist in. That'd be so cool. I mean, I, I, that's that's fully what I'm expecting they're going to do with the Najima sections. <laughs> I talked about that in the in the episode 29, the first royal one. Ooh. Yes. Where I'm pretty sure the Najima sections are supposed to still be taking place in the metaverse. 
you know, because we never actually saw the proper leaving animation for, for the metaverse and all the other stuff like, hey, it doesn't, weren't there an unusual amount of police there and how did they get into the metaverse and etc. and so on. There, there were a bunch of reasons, but really it's more that never actually said they didn't. <laughs> they weren't in there. I, it is weird that they're explaining this, like, to, to him, it's like, are you sure this is gonna work? Yeah, look, do you know that Kamashita? Have they not explained, like, what happened to Kamashita? So I'm sure, oh no, he actually knows already about Kamashita. I think he even looked it up a little bit himself, but, um, yeah, I'm sure that this is probably something that every single, uh, artist like uh, professionally or amateurishly has gone through which is hey you do art well do some graphic design for me <laughs> and uh of course he does he's a classically trained painter <laughs> well, look, we just need you to make some pamphlets that's all no if only it's like wait no no please no more pamphlets not after not after my time with Madarami. i can't I can't even look at a piece of cardstock anymore. I mean, I, you know, I never actually, despite the fact that I, know, I have like five episodes ahead right now, I don't remember if I have actually seen the chat icon that he's talking about right now. Uh, hmm. Well, it's, it's the one that they've used for all the promotional art and everything. We saw the, the original one that they used on the Kamoshita card last episode. It was the, the chalkboard scribble. But uh, if you know anything about this game, the, this is they're going with the, the classic logo now. What? Why is that Anne's job? Wait, what? <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, so yeah, 524, when we're sending the card. That's my birthday. Wow. What, what do you mean, wow? I, I, do you not know I, that? I know it, but I always forget it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. So this is another new royal thing because, uh, the well, first off, they're talking a lot about Maruki in the IM message after this. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it, it's pretty clear that it was one of those things that was added in a lot later. That's also where we're going to be getting a lot more um, Yoshizawa type of information. What is the character that like appears over everyone's head? Is that a grumble that everyone's making? Oh, it is. Uh, I, I think it's just like Gara Gara, if I remember, if, because I wasn't really paying attention, oh, okay. which is just kind of like general crowd noise. Oh, okay. Crowd grumbling. Yeah, the the um the sound effects are actually in both the Japanese and the English version, and they do have uh, Japanese or English res respectively. <laughs> I, I I love it when Ryuji's just like talking like that, and it's just like yeah, that's not a word. <laughs> I mean, you could call him out on so so many of those things, though. It's a lot easier to turn something into a verb. Well, it's a lot easier to grammatically format something as a verb in in Japanese because you know that. You know what? I'm not gonna get too too deep into it. Well, I, I I keep the Japanese learning separate from the actual commentary for these episodes up to this that's, point. I'm gonna con and I'm gonna keep it that way. That's sensible, yeah. Look, you get the transcriptions for every single episode. Mm -hmm. So do I. God, they take so long to go through. <laughs> yeah, I've already gone. Got my uh, got my first rank with him. You should do that, too. I mean, I know you can't change Persona, but uh, m maybe you'll get one of the special abilities. Like, like, I got the ability to recover from status effects quicker. Ryuji, I think you could probably use that, too. 